okay, I know what he's running. You want to know the progression of his reads so you know what to take away and what to lurk for. Any of that information helps you become a better man player. First play of the game, McNabb hands it off to, to Coleman. I like to say from IU, Delvin Coleman there and picks up one yard there. So first possession of the game will be from Blair Walsh, ESG in the, in the Vikings purple there. Uh, Ivy Strafen in the Vikings white jerseys. He's on defense, second down and nine for McNabb in the gun. And for Blair Walsh, you're going to see the Saints offense uh, on defense. We'll have the Lions defense back to throw. He's got a receiver. It's Coleman, second touch of the game. This time, first pass. Two plays, two yards, strafing, digging in on defense. Yeah, you got to feel good with these first two plays, but you got to keep going. It, it doesn't make sense if you can get a stop on first and second, but you give up nine yards to make the first down here. Strafing needs to get off the field and start this game with a little bit of defensive momentum. Got trips to the left-hand side. Leonard Fournette out there playing tight end. He's got a receiver, low pass, and it's up by Diggs. Nice little spin move. Picked up an extra couple of yards there. We'll give him about 12. It'll be first down. Actually, give him 14 on that. Be first down and 10. Diggs with the catch. I know the Vikings fans here inside of U.S. Bank. It is starting to fill up here inside of the Hyundai Club. Got a lot of activities going on here inside of this beautiful facility. They got to bring the Super Bowl back. I'm not a fan of Super Bowls being in cold weather cities. But in Minneapolis, it works because you got the skywalks, and this facility just takes a backseat to nobody. Yeah, it was a great time here for the Super Bowl. You saw him finding Diggs there. I think Stephon Diggs single handedly oh, he's got beat. Uh oh, user got him. Diggs once again. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Great idea, though. I saw that user man. He turned it upfield. I was like, oh, you got hit a little bit late there, uh, getting it to Diggs. But you got to admit, Blair Walsh looks great on offense right now. He doesn't look nervous. He doesn't look outside of his element. He's making his reads, using his playmaker. Once again, Diggs coming in on that slant route. Give him nine there? Yeah, absolutely. Third down and one uh, for ESG. Blair Walsh coming up. Only seen one run so far. He's got Coleman back there, so he's probably not going to bang his head up, up in there too much. He's going to continue to ride the right arm of Donovan McNabb, and he throws that out of bounds. So we have our first fourth down coming up of the ball game. It'll be fourth down and one. We'll see what uh, ESG can do. And here's the thing, that's kind of tough to make that call there on third and one. Sometimes you want to pick up that first down right then and there, because now all the pressure's on you here. Is. You never know, you might get hit with that drop. You might get with, give yourself two chances to pick up that first down. Got to receive any overthrow. That, that's going to hurt there. Third down and less than a yard. You got to think you got to you got to run the ball twice there, right? I mean, I know I know a lot of Madden players don't bring their punters, but when do we stop bringing our running backs? <laughs> well, that's a that's a league wide problem, uh, even in the uh, NFL there, uh, with the uh, devaluing uh, of the running back position there. First down and ten, the Madden 17 Vikings Club champion IB Strafing, uh, with this first possession of the ball game. 27 years of age, he's the old dude. Marshfield, Wisconsin, uh, by way now, living out there in the Seattle area, out there in the Pacific Northwest, shout, out there near the Puget Sound. Shout out to Ghost, Drag, Sonane, Smoke, everybody out there in the chat. People are tuning in, giving their two cents about this game. We want to hear you guys. Add us in the chat. Let us know what you see. Let us know what you would do out here. Who do you think is going to bring it home, Blair Walsh or Ivy Strafer? Good stuff by the chat, keeping us straight, man, because we both had some, some mental errors there. Uh, Math used to be computing. my strong suit <laughs> until I had to do it and commentate at the same time. <laughs> well, you know what they like to say about, you know, journalists and, and commentators. Math's not a strong suit. Uh, it, it is mine because, you know, I, I got to pay bills. So I'm real good with the math nowadays. Second down and eight with Ivy Strafe. We had a little brain for it there. We were off about three points. Good job collecting those guys uh, to make that 20-14. And there he is. Nice catch there. And, oh, no one's going to catch that dude. Pulls it up. Pulls into the end zone. And, oh, that's a house call there. Strafing on the board just like that. The Madden 17 Vikings Club champion in the lead. That is too easy. You have to make him work harder to get up and down that field. If you're Blair Walsh, you got to put these first two drives behind you. Act like it's 0-0 zero, zero, and play your game. You cannot allow yourself to get caught in the previous drives where you'll never be able to win in big time at. Yeah, you cannot give up two score drives. You're going to be in a world of hurt uh, if that continues to happen. But I do like what ESG, uh, Blair Walsh, was doing in that first possession. This time you get to a third in inches. 
pick it up. Uh, don't leave it the chance on a on a on a dangerous pass uh, route there and a, and, a, and a throw to try to pick up that first down. We'll see what he gets into here in his second possession. Only down seven nothing. Don't feel like the world is is on your shoulders right now. You're still in this ball game. I want to see if he can if he can show some maturity here and show that. He has been doing a lot of lab, and he, and he knows what to expect there. Turn it up the field. There you go. Pick up positive yards. Stay in this game mentally. Uh, don't check out and force Strafen to beat you. Second down to six here for ESG. I think last year maybe Ivy Strafen might have taken Winko a little uh, for granted and didn't lock in and, and play his game as well as he should have. This year you can see he's focused. He's playing his heart out. He's leaving it all on the line to make sure he gets back to the championship and hopefully has a better outcome. You can see the look. Oh, you got to take that, Coleman. You got it right there. You had four yards if you wanted it, just running right where the play was designed. Little spin move, tried to get to the outside. Uh, was Lost the yard there. Third down and five here. Getting into that little scary territory here. If you, you get to a fourth down, you don't convert, then you're down two scores. And he gets the ball back in the second half. And there is a sack there. If, you look, if Blair... That was the Been definition sketchy. of a coverage sack. As you can see, everybody was covered deep. Strafen took away the cross route. He playmakered him back. He had somebody over there for him. Great defense by Strafen. Good point there with the playmaker, too. That, that took away where he wanted to go and get the ball uh, to the receiver there. Fourth down and 15. Huge fourth down here for Blair. This is called Blair Walsh again. <laughs> Blair Walsh. Well, I wonder which play he's going to run to get six <laughs> yards, 16 yards which right now. Which way did he go, George? And now it makes it even worse. Mm. If, you didn't, if he didn't have a fourth and 15 play, what makes you think he's going to have a fourth and 20 play? This could come down to the game right here. If he doesn't get this, giving strength in the ball on the 15-yard line, already up 7 nothing, getting the ball back at half, that might be too much to overcome. Well, uh, if he was watching the Seahawks Club championship and he saw Killer Mike, pick up like a half dozen of those that's about the only thing i'm gonna say maybe you use your tyrant kill somewhere that's your shot there but fourth and 20 is going to be a uh, tough sledding here pressure coming brought six and got a receiver Diggs going to come up about two yards short turnover on downs ivy strafing does the job didn't give up 20 yards there i told you he had a 15 yard play did not have a 20 yard play <laughs> yeah tough sledding there for Blair Walsh, ESG, Ivy strafing now with the second possession of the ball game. The Madden 17, Vikings Club champion now with the second possession. There's Leonard Fournette up the gut, just picks up two. There's second down and eight. And if you're ESG, Blair Walsh, you got to hope, man. I cannot give up anything more than field goal here. A touchdown puts me way behind. Yeah, we said this game was going to come down to the battle of the turnovers. Getting two stops like that is just as good as getting a turnover, getting the ball right here, and then, wow. Wow. Maybe uh, he's had a shot that there. That was maybe. a shot. <laughs> that was a shot. Not, and not take the shot on the receiver. Go for the ball. Uh, there with the uh, aggressive catch there. So third down and eight. And if you're ESG, this is what you want. You want a behind the sticks, third and long situations. See if you can force a field goal here, and then you feel like you can get the ball back and put some points on the board, and you're still in this ball game. Who was less than a minute to play. Third down and eight. Mike Vick back. Plenty of time to throw. Got a receiver wide open. And it's Randy Moss right there in the seam. Wide open. Wow. You know, Strafen wishes he line. could have that one back. That He was running wide open. Now, if you're Blair Walsh, you're on the 12-yard line. You can get a first down. You can tie this game back up and get right back in and put that pressure back on IB Strafing. You have to make the most of this possession right here. Be smart and bring your running back out. First down and 10 for Ivy Strafen. Mike Vick hands it off to Leonard Fournette. One man to beat. Nice spin move. Can he run and truck over three guys? Does not. Brought down around the two and a half yard line. It'll be second down and about a long two there. Can't pick up a first down inside of the two yard line. Second down and two as we tick down here to the end of the first quarter. We'll go into the second quarter live here from U.S. Bank Stadium. I'd be strafing with the ball and the lead. It is 7-0 against Blair Walsh ESG. For those of you just tuning in, Blair Walsh had the ball first. Mm -hmm. So strafing will be getting it back at halftime. The chat was asking for some people who just tuned in. And Blair Walsh has the ball on the four-yard line. Absolutely. Blair Walsh. No, it's strafing. He's got the ball. 
Should be straight, right? Yeah, straight was in white. Blair, Blair Walsh is in purple. Straight back, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, should be straight. Yeah, straight has got the ball. He can go up now 14 0. Hands it off to Leonard Fournette. And does not get it, but does pick up the first down there. Four carries, 16 yards for Leonard Fournette. He's got four cracks at it from inside the one, Rico. Yeah, going for that on that fourth and 20, giving that ball back up. And the reason why I said he's had the ball because I thought Ivy Schaefer was about to score there. It was just that easy. <laughs> yeah. And it's been that easy for him. You cannot give a player as good as Ivy Strafing a 14-point lead when you're playing something like this. And as you can see, it's already the second quarter. You know he gets that ball back. There's added pressure on you there. You got to figure out something, and you got to figure it out quick. Michael Vick with the one-yard QB sneak. Ivy Strafing up 13-0, pinning the extra point. PAT up, and it is good. I be straight two possessions, two scores, got a stop as well in there. He is up 14-0, as Rico mentioned. He will get the ball back in the second half. And if you're Blair Walsh, ESG, all of the lab with Newton and Big Cat, it needs to pay off now. You cannot go down three scores in this ballgame and expect to come back and beat the guy that is perceived, not perceived, is the favorite here, and when a guy has that look on his face and understands that he was tripped up and gave one away last year at Ball of America, not going to give away anything this year. You're going to have to earn it, and it starts by having a great possession here, and it needs to end with the touchdown, Rico. That it does. And First right now, you have to be a little disappointed. Got him. Oh, user. Great, great defense. Jamal As you Adams. saw, Strafen baited him into throwing that. He took away the drag underneath, took a step, waited for that seam, came back underneath it. Great defense by Strafen. How about Jamal Adams leading the Pro Bowl vote for the New York Jets right now? There's a guy in the offseason that said he was disappointed he didn't make the Pro Bowl last year. He told us at SNY, this will never happen again. As long as I play, I'm going to make the Pro Bowl. Here he is in the second season, likely going to Orlando to play in the Pro Bowl. Good stuff for Jamal Adams, the kid from LSU, uh, being a leader uh, for the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. But we're here at U.S. Bank Stadium. We're talking about Skull Vikings. Shout Vikings out to Dubby. Championship. I see him up in the chat. Another great man player. Now, question for you. Yes. How mad are you if you're Jay Wolf? You can't even get a good look and a good scouting. <laughs> With the way this is going, you what don't know shot. if strafing is the next coming of Skimbo <laughs> or if Blair Walsh just isn't giving him a good look. So you don't know what's really going to work, what's not going to work in this. This is not helping him for his scouting. And his fourth and ten can mean it all. I'll tell you what's not going to help if you do not pick up this fourth down here. Uh, it will be a, a, a big Katie part of the door here if he does not pick up this fourth down. He's got to find a way. And there's the aggressive catch by Tyreek Hill. Nice job there. And a user spin to go and to boot. He needed that in the worst way, and he was able to get it done, Rico. When in doubt, that's the man you got to look for. You know he's going to make a play. He's going to fight for you. Either Cheetah or Randy Moss. Oh, look, he's got Stephon. Look, he's got a really good receiving core there. He got Randy Moss, Tyreek Hill, and Stephon Diggs. He's going to have to use those guys to get back in this ball game here in the second quarter. I'd be strafing up 14-0. ESG, third possession of the ball game. First couple of possessions, was not able to score. Turned the ball over uh, on downs as well. Ivy Strafing with the lead, 14-0. Blair Walsh in purple, has the ball, trailing 14-0. There's the aggressive catch by Leonard Fournette, your tight end. I like how you, you like the guys putting these running backs at tight end. Remember, we saw Barry Sanders at tight end a lot with the Steelers. You got to remember, I come from an era where we did everything. They talk about that. We had goal line sets back in the day with Plaxico, Heinz Ward, and Randall L. Yes, and then we had the bus and Sat Amos Zerigway. If that's not telling my age, oh, gosh. Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb, North Carolina State, right? Yeah, top, five, top, yeah, top ten pick for the Broncos last year. Absolutely, yeah. Doing a good job there. Second down at 17. Look about the Broncos. Man. You got Chubb and you got Vaughn Miller coming off both edges. That's pretty scary. See the Broncos later today, if I'm not mistaken, right? Saturday Night Saturday Football. Game. Yeah. What well, they got? Cleveland Browns, I believe, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think they got Baker in the bunch. Got Baker. Baker, speaking of Baker, Oklahoma back-to-back -back Heisman Trophy winners, man, with Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield from for Boom. Pretty good stuff there. I know Skimbo probably likes that, huh, Skimbo? from Oklahoma. Claremore's finest. Claremore's finest. Now, right. 
he needs seven here. Do we all agree? Chad, Absolutely. do you think he can take three here, <laughs> or do you think he needs seven? One's up if you think he can take three. He needs seven, but you probably take three if you're forced to. Right. Flex round! Flex round! Second down and eight. The gap back. Oh, he had B. Oh, nice little move there by Tyreek Hill. Great route. Get some separation, and he's back in this ball game. You said throw up the ones if you needed seven. We all said he needed seven. No, I said he can take three. He'll take whatever he can get. But he takes seven there. And Blair Walsh, ESG, down just 14-7. Rico, we have a ball game. Still two minutes and eight seconds left here in the first half for I.B. Strafen. We'll see if we can get this daily double. Now, Strafen knows he gets the ball back to start the next half. He needs to be smart here. Go ahead. Take your time. Don't do anything too risky because you don't want to give Blair Walsh a chance to get right back in this, get the momentum going his way. First down and 10 for I.B. Strafen. Quarterback Mike Vick, Leonard Fournette in the backfield. Got Randy Moss on the outside. Leonard Fournette, big hole on the right-hand side. Trucks through as we head to the two-minute warning. Gain of about seven or eight, second down and two. Live here from U.S. Bank Stadium. In Minneapolis, site of Super Bowl 52. Heck of a Super Bowl that was between the Pats and the Eagles. Of course, we know Debbie's Eagles getting that win over the Patriots, 41-33. Nick Foles, oh, what a truck there. Get out of my way. Leonard Fournette, he's got that piano on his back. Can he take it to the house? He does. Leonard Fournette in the end zone, and just like that, we've had another series for Ivy Strafen, where it's only two or three plays, 60 or 70 yards, and he's got that explosive offense. Tina Turner's back into a two-possession lead there, Rico. Wow. And <laughs> you talked about him making sure he got points and not doing anything too crazy. Well, how about just breaking that like that? Makes life a whole lot easier. 21-7. Abi Strafen with the lead as we kick it off here. And there's Pat Peterson returning for Blair Walsh, ESG. And he'll start somewhere around his 20 to 21. First down and 10 for ESG Blair Walsh. Down by two scores, 21-7. A couple of turnovers didn't help. Was able to get on the board his last possession. Can he put up a score before the half? Leonard Fournette just literally threw his head right to the chest of Deion Sanders. I guess we saw um, um, you know, the Cowboys, Cowboys running back. Uh, Zeke Elliott got fined. First guy to get fined for the offensive, uh, you know, I guess unnecessary roughness, you know, with the head, but straight into his chest there. What up, guys? Got a nice little crew here at U.S. Bank Stadium coming and hanging out. The crowd out. is out here. It is standing room only. Second down and five for Walsh ESG. Once again, gets Leonard Fournette trucking action there. Gets out of bounds. Clock still running. Under 130 left here in the first half. Blair Walsh down a couple touchdowns in the gun. Donovan McNabb. Got trips to the right there. Fournette has the tight end. You got Hill and Diggs. Randy Moss on the backside. Bullet pass. User Hill caught across the middle on that slant. McNabb pretty good today. 11 of 16. Almost 150 yards passing. Does have one TD. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up for ESG. I like what I'm seeing here from ESG. No but quit. here's the thing. The question is how many is strafing baiting him into throwing that? Route one more time, <laughs> and then he's going to take it away. Now, tries to take off uh, and almost threw it and almost fumbled. Got a timeout there for Blair Walsh. Down 21-7 to I.B. Strafen. Once again, Donovan McNabb in the gun. Can Blair Walsh get a touchdown, make this thing closer as we head into halftime here of the second semifinal. McNabb back to pass, plenty of time. He can take off or he's going to try to hit somebody. Fumble! Ball's on the ground, and it is recovered by Strafing. That, that was that user strip. Man, that's going to that's gonna be tough, especially with Strafing getting that ball back. Shout out to Stevie J, who made, and lights out, who made their appearance in the chat. And wait, what? That's is that, is that Wit Goat? Music. Wit Goat has made his appearance. He came to check out. <laughs> Let's see how this is going. How about, oh, speaking of Wit Goat, here's the Goat. Randy Moss breaking the tackles from Rand. West Virginia, I.B. Strafing once again. That's three possessions now where he scored 
and two plays or less, that's how you get it done, and that's just too much pressure for ESG. That right there was the backbreakers. He goes up 28-7, and we'll get the ball to start the second half. That hurts, man. Now, if you're Jay Wolf, what are you sitting here thinking right now? Are, are you thinking I can stop this, or I can score in this defense, or hey, at least Blair Walsh is and me? You ha you have to get inside your own head and say whatever his opponent is doing right now, I do this better than him. So this will not happen to me. I won't allow this to happen to me, and start trying to figure out what's going to slow him down. And I don't think it helps Blair Walsh, ESG, that Went Goat is here. So now Strafen's going to see Went Goat. <laughs> He's going to have that memory jog back to back in January. He's going to like, oh heck no, this guy can't be showing up and raining on my parade. This is my back to club championship this season, baby. First down and 10, McNabb. Just throw it up to X. Go for it, man. You got Rand you out there. Let him have it. One-on-one -on -one situation with less than 20 seconds left, right? You, you got to try it. I, I don't know what else he has in his Black offensive Black arsenal that would have been better than that. Well, he does have the ball around the 35. Maybe he was thinking he's got a couple more possessions here or a couple more plays. Maybe one, maybe two. 28 to 7 here. I'd be strafing with the lead, and he's just playing prevent defense, preventing any score here. And I'd be strafing to take this thing to the house uh, for halftime. Last play of the first half here, ESG. Blair Walsh back to throw. Last play. And now he's hoping to get that same matchup that he didn't want to throw before. Against three guys <laughs> when you had one-on-one -on -one <laughs> before that. And there you can see a Vikings legend right there. John Randall sands the black paint. One of the great defensive linemen. Look, he was undersized and short, but, man, he wreaked havoc on everybody. Montana, you name it, the 49ers, the Cowboys, all of those great teams in the 90s. What a great player he was for the Vikings. You talk about having a motor. His motor never stopped. He was going and going <laughs> and going, kind of like Strafen's offense right now, which he's about to get back to. Yes, good to see John Randall again. We saw him back in January for the Madden 18 Vikings Club Championship. He's back here signing autographs for the good folks here inside of U.S. Bank Stadium. Larry Ridley alongside the Madden historian Rico Williams here in Minneapolis live. You're on Twitch. You're watching on twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL. It is the Vikings Club Championship, the last live activation by an NFL team as we get set for the club championship. We're all... 32 teams will have a representative next month out in San Francisco in that area, Redwood City, uh, for the club championship. $700,000 on the line out there in prize pool money. It's the largest magnet event ever. That's what they tell me, Rico, and it's correct, right? Uh, I'll have to look at the numbers just to make sure before I go in the air putting that together, just because I know we had an incredible turnout at the Classic. So we'll have to see. But I think if you no, take the prize total pool. Yeah, prize, oh, prize pools yeah. and total entries or anything like that, then yeah, we definitely want to go with that. Absolutely. $700,000. That's a lot of coin right there. It is the largest uh, prize pool ever for a man that will be in late January, early February, right before the Super Bowl on the Redwood City. He's got a receiver on. It's caught. Aggressive catch. Defender misjudged it. Did not get it. And that is caught by the tight end, Pruitt. And here we go. Now, that's the first thing that Jay Wolf can sit back and say, hey, if he throws that up against me, I know I can get that. Because that pass should have been picked. That was just on Blair Walsh not being able to get there with his stick work. Maybe if it's not picked, at least knocked down. And there is Wolfman right there. He's got the good folks from New Ulm, Minnesota. That's a new town that I learned about today uh, coming and hanging out. Uh, with, uh, with Wolfman and the folks from uh, about 30 minutes outside of Vancouver. All right, you're down 28. What do you do? Let me look inside of the playbook that says uh, four touchdown play right here. Uh, I don't see one, actually. There, there's, there isn't one. So. So we'll, we'll see how he goes about this. But what, what you can do is just... Here's what, you, you take this experience and you, you learn from it and you move on to the next one. He'll get plenty more opportunities here. I actually thought uh, of the three guys that had no experience in a live event, Blair was the guy I thought would have the best showing. Um, and hasn't been his day so far. Uh, some turnovers, uh, some, 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 some bad luck, some tough luck. Um, and look, he's going up against the faithful. He's going up against a hot player now, right now. Here's the question I have for you. 
everybody's saying Strafen's the favorite. We know Jay Wolf's already in there. Mm -hmm. You know Jay Wolf shut out Ivy Strafen 16 to nothing during the online group stage of this. So Jay Wolf's not going to be nervous. He's not going to be scared. He's not. He's been here. He's seen Strafen, and he shut him out. He did tell me, he's like, Larry, I do feel good. And I said, why do you feel good? He says, because I played very well in the online stages. So he did say that. So you're absolutely correct about that. And he says, that's why he felt so good about it. And he feels good about it now because he's seen everybody online, on Twitch, and played against everybody online. He didn't feel like anybody could beat him. Shout out to Donnie Moore, the dad of Czar, coming in with the great <laughs> bits. Donnie was my right-hand man at the Classic. Me and him together. It was a great team. He was able to come up with all the great stats, all the great numbers, and he kept me looking like a superstar. Thank you, Donnie. Donnie Moore, man, the, the statistician back there, man, uh, would be a great spotter. Uh, one of those guys, man, like, I could see him at ESPN, man, you know, doing the other uh, stats, man, and coming up with some nuggets, some game notes. Don't That's what Donnie would do. Don't you take my Donnie from me. <laughs> Donnie Moore with the game notes. That's what it would be on the front page there. Hits Delaney Walker on the outside there. Picks up the first down as he gets inside of the 10-yard line. First and goal for ESG Walsh. Trying to make a game of it down by four scores. And here's where you have to take a moment and step back and say, you know what? These are still some of the top four Madden players coming out for these club series. All these guys can play Madden. It just shows that on any given day, while the skill gap is still close, there's another level to that elite. Madden player. High level Madden competition. That's what we like to talk about. And look, you're exactly right. Uh, the way these guys go about it, the way they train, the way they lab and compete uh, and practice. Just not his day here. But look, it is not completely over. We can get a touchdown here and somehow get the ball back quickly. Oh, what Whoa. a spin move. Was that, that a pump fake? And that was. That looked like Absolutely. a pump fake. Absolutely. Have not seen that at all for Madden 19. Donovan McNabb gets into the end zone, and how about Blair Walsh with the play of the year so far from a quarterback perspective down in the red zone. Nice little pump fake, and then the spin move to get into the zone. That was nifty. I, that, somebody needs to clip that, put that on the internet, <laughs> and tag me in that one. That was a great one. Put your hands up. <laughs> that was the greatest pump fake I've ever seen in football. That, that, I haven't seen that in a long time. I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe once. I want to say maybe Madden 17. But it's been at least a couple of years that I've seen that uh, from uh, from a player. Now, what a heck of a play that was by Blair Walsh. At least he can hang his hat on that. He might not cry in the car home. <laughs> well, you shouldn't cry. You got two grand. So <laughs> it's not a bad day's work. It's not a bad day's work. There's a lot of people that don't make two grand in a day. And more people that don't make two grand. There's a lot of people who don't make two grand in a month. That's some good coin there to come out and play uh, Mad 19 here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Second down and seven. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams are live from U.S. Bank Stadium. Second semifinal here. Winner moves on to the final game, the championship game, where they will play Jay Wolfman in the final to see who will be crowned the Vikings club champion. Leonard Fournette, plenty of room. Out to the outside. Well, Wayne's catching me ship. What a spin move. Oh, my God. Move. Oh, he did one too many. One. One, two, two, many. Not three. Yes. <laughs> he was trying to see if he could come up with a play to rival Blair Walsh. Now, now it's just about highlights. Yes. It's it's about highlights now. Who can have the best highlight? That was a good one. Still a little bit Although short. Although Strafen's up 21, he still doesn't have to play of the game. He does so not. that's he, what he's he, trying to get right now. He does not. Absolutely not. First down and 10 for Strafen. With the lead by three scores up by 21. I think he scored every possession, right? He the ball five times, he scored every single possession. Here's a six possession. We'll see if he can get some points out of it. Hold on to the ball, man. If you're strafing, that's all you care about right now. Running attack's been there. Passing attack's been there. Defense, for the most part, has been there as well. Uh, a thorough performance uh, through the first three quarters by I.B. Strafing. Once again, looking to get that Vikings Club championship back. The one that he had in 17. Lost in the finals to Whitgoat. Went Goat just showed up here. It's out of the Hyundai Club, U.S. Bank Stadium. And there is some trucking. It's like an old school WWF, <laughs> WWE match. He's like, oh, my God, that's Wentgoat's music. What is he doing here? <laughs>
Just just keep keep the chairs away yeah. from uh, I.B. Strafen. <laughs> First down and goal for Strafen. Got a three-touchdown lead here, under five Thank minutes me. to play. Thanks to Stevio Supremo. He said that clip has been captured. Oh, he got it. He got All it. All right, make sure you tag me in that one. Let me know the uh, social media platform you put it on. That was definitely an amazing play. Is it me or does it seem like Fournette's just galloping? Like, <laughs> just like He's in no, the zone. The end zone and the zone right there's now. No, there's no urgency, but you can have some urgency and still be patient. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's just, it's like a walk in the park, man. Strafing. Six possessions, six touchdowns. He's up 42-14. And uh, four minutes and 23 seconds away from moving on to the final unless there's some sort of disaster and a miracle in Minneapolis, which we saw right here on this field against the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, that will forever be remembered. That was whew, that was a great play. Which, which miracle was more improbable? That one or the one in Miami last week? See, <laughs> I, I think you got to go with that, the, the one here, just because it was a playoff game. And the level and then that missed tackle, like, but the, the You've Patriots seen a couple like of flea flickers before <laughs> and everything like that, and then Gronk, oh, that was just a Oh, man. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. Here's an NFL player that looked, looked like one of us out there. Did not look very athletic. <laughs> did you see the interview with Drake afterwards? They asked him, yeah. is it, when did you know you were going to score? He said, he said, as soon as I saw that it was Gronk, he knew. He said nobody would ever let him live down exactly. getting tackled by Gronk. Oh, man. He's like, I'm sorry, Gronk, but I got somewhere to be. Low catch to Randy Moss, and it's caught. Good day for Donovan now. 19 of 25. 240 yards. Does have a touchdown. It's going to be a little too late, though, uh, for ESG Blair Walsh. Now back to throw. Now there is a sack there. Going to a little too long. Fourth down and seven. Ingram. Old Melvin with the sack for Strafe. Fourth down and seven right here. As we start to take some seconds down here in the fourth quarter. Now yeah, back to pass, low catch. Must get up. Well, he had the first down regardless. You look at the numbers, McNabb, phenomenal day, 20 of 26, 250 yards, just the one touchdown. And then on defense, you just, you know, you, you, you gave up four possessions where Strafen scored in one or two plays. That's going to be tough to come back from. Just too explosive. Yeah, you can't give up those one-hitter quitters like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Good run. Leonard Fournette, 14 carries, a buck 48 uh, for Strafen. Like I said, man, it's, it's, been, it's been surgical. Uh, both of these guys, um, you look at what Wolfman was able to do, ran it very well, surprised us by playing it, uh, especially early on. Uh, and then when he had to, when the game got a little tight there when he got behind, uh, then you look at Strafen. We come to expect this from Strafen, uh, where, he, where he's able to you know, do it on the ground and through the air there. Uh, where he'll have well over 300 yards total offense here in this ball game. Third down and five for Strafen. Hands it off to Fournette. Got room out there. Got a block. One man to beat. Spin. Truck. Truck. Spin. Truck. Going to hold on to the ball. Get out of bounds. And that'll get us close to the two-minute warning. Look at those numbers he's putting up. Did you see Leonard Fournette's numbers that Strafing has? Wow. You would think he was the best back in man. <laughs> Yeah, Strafen looking real good, real strong here today. It's going to take a uh, an extraordinary effort uh, to knock him off. Fournette once again seeking out contact that time against Waynes. Waynes getting the better uh, of Fournette that time. Second tackle of the day. Second down and nine. Once again, Vic likely handed off here to Strafen. He does. Got a big hold there. Nice sealed block by Randy Moss. It's classy. Very classy. I Very was just classy. About to say and, that. and that was one of the things I really, really, really enjoyed about the classic as well. You see the level of sportsmanship in our Madden community has stepped up tremendously. Tip your hat to Strafin, not looking to run up to score, just looking to move on to the next round, which he's done rather easily. But tip your hat to both of them. Great players. Blair Walsh will be back next year. Look to hear from him again. And Strafer moves on to take on Jay Wolf. There it is, a live look here at U.S. Bank Stadium. And, yes, the roof is closed. It should be. It's December here in downtown Minneapolis. Ivy Strafer moving on here at U.S. Bank Stadium. 
for the Madden Vikings Club Championship. And there is my man, the voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen, standing by with Strafe. PA. All right, I appreciate you. Not about me. It's about uh, my main man, Strafe. We've met before, right? Quite a few times now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, have you ever gotten past this event and to the championship? Uh, that or the championship round. That first year, I got to the Final Four yeah. in California and the loss, but uh, I'm hoping to make a run um, this year. Uh, what would you think of the game? It uh, seemed pretty effortless. Uh, he's a good player. I, I kind of had a plan to kind of shut down his offense, and uh, I was getting some pressure, but uh, he's a good player. He'll be back. So. How do you develop a plan into a game? Study film. Um, it's kind of like real football, actually. It's kind of funny. Study a film, see kind of what their weaknesses are, what they're not going to be ready for. Um, what they want to do, and then go from there. You have a, uh, a nice group of fans over here supporting you, right? Yeah, that's my boys from uh, kindergarten, some of them. Middle school, they're, they're loyal. They're, they're good dudes. So. They, uh, they want me to remind the fan base that you're wearing your lucky Lululemon sweats. Hey. Is that accurate? Hey, hey, you know all about Lululemons. I see you on Twitter. You like them, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for comfy, sure. Comfy. Uh, there they are. Um, all right. In closing, uh, when Ethan, when, uh, when Wolfman won, I asked him at the end, do you have a preference? And he said he would prefer to play you uh, because he recently beat you, and I think he shut you out in group competition. Your thoughts on all that? Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Uh, congratulations to uh, IB Strafing and the championships coming up shortly. Larry, Rico, back to you. All right, good stuff there.